Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. After a very stressful few minutes trying to get a fucking camera to work, the new camera that I got just now won't work. No matter what batteries I put in, it's like no, it won't fucking turn on. So I had to go hunt down my Canon camera, which hopefully will not die during filming. In my last video, I said if you guys wanted to see a video on Walker Stalker, then I would do one. So as all of you probably know, because I say it all the fucking time and I'm so excited about it, I have a countdown on my phone. There is the countdown as of today. I am going to Walker Stalker London next year. It's on in March. It's the beginning of March. I got my tickets, I think, March of this year. So I bought the tickets nearly a year in advance because that's when they went on sale. They went on sale pretty much immediately after Walker Stalker London 2016. Now a lot of you guys are stressing out and freaking out over tickets because it's, it is kind of complicated the way it works. Basically most information that you need to know is on Walker Stalker's website. They have, I think they still have weekend and day passes available. As far as I know all of the VIP tickets like the VIP, the platinum and the gold are gone. They sell out really quickly and I don't, I'm not sure if they're going to be adding on any more of those tickets. There's a Walker Stalker page on Facebook called Walker Stalker London. It's kind of like a fan page for everyone that's going to this year's Walker Stalker or that went to last year's Walker Stalker, which was still this year's because it was the convention that was on in February. But the people in that group are generally really nice, they're really helpful, they'll help with a lot of questions. And most of the people in that group have already been to a convention before, to a Walker Stalker, so they'll be able to give you really great tips. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how it works. So I bought my ticket from Walker Stalker in like February or March or some shit like that. You get sent like a confirmation email. Whatever ticket level you have, there's different ticket levels. There's a day pass, there's a weekend pass, there's VIP, there's gold, and then there's platinum. Platinum being the highest, gold being the kind of, you know, middle ground, and then VIP being the basic VIP. With these tickets, I'm pretty sure that you get early entry, you get little perks like things like that. But with the gold and with the platinum, you get free photo ops. So when you turn up on usually the Friday, the kind of check-in starts the day before if you want to. If you want to turn up the day before the convention, you can. And basically what this is, is you come with all of your receipts. So if you buy a gold ticket or a weekend pass or a day pass, you get sent like a confirmation email. You have to keep all that shit that's really important and you print it out. You bring that receipt with you to the convention and there's all different booths at the convention. So there's one kind of general line for like general admission, so for day and weekend passes. Then there's a different line for gold and for platinum and for VIP. So if you have a regular weekend pass, you turn up on the day with your receipts, you go to the general kind of admission line, you queue up and you get your weekend pass. Now I have one of them because my dad got general admission this year. So the pass that he got was like this, and then what you do then is you give them your seats, they give you this pass and you just put it around your neck. So you don't need to kind of show tickets then to get in and out of the venue, you just show your little laminate. And it's a lot easier than constantly have to f having to fumble for tickets and be like, where did I put it? So once you get this then, that's pretty much all you need to get into the venue for the weekend. If you're a day pass, if you're a Saturday or Sunday day pass, I think you get a pass that says Saturday or Sunday. So it's the same kind of thing. With general admission, tickets you don't get like any free things with it you just get your pass you have to purchase all your photo ops and your autographs separately now the way the photo op system works is the photo ops will go on sale online I think sometime around December it might be a little bit later this year basically once all the guests are confirmed or once the bulk of the guests are confirmed the, the website goes live Walker Stalker will tweet out the time and the date and everything that they're going on sale so you guys will know and then all the guests that are going, they'll be listed. Sometimes the guests' photo ops are categorized into different groups. So for Norman, for example, he's a pretty high demand, you know, person. Like everyone wants to meet him and get their photo with him. So for him, it would be like Norman Reedus, group A, group B, group C, group D, and like so on. And then as I think as the groups sell out, they add more groups. And all that means is if you get a Norman Reedus group D photo op, that means you'll be turning up at a specific time and it will tell you what time to turn up at. Now when you buy your photo ops, again you get the receipt things. When you're checking in on the Friday to the convention you have to present these things, present your receipts and your proof of purchase in order to get your little cards. So the cards look like this, or well they did at February's Walker Stalker, they might be different next year. I'm not sure if celeb photo ops are doing next year's Walker Stalker, they mightn't be, 
but this is what they look like this year. You get a little card, it's like the size of a credit card, and then on the back it tells you what guest and what group. So my one was for Melissa McBride and it was group A. Now I didn't meet Melissa because group A was scheduled at like 12 o'clock or quarter past 12 on the Saturday morning. When I got into the venue on the Saturday morning I went straight for Norman's queue. I was gold VIP, I queued for like two and a half, maybe three hours and then I met him. But by the time I left his table, I think I had five minutes to run to Melissa's queue. But I was so overwhelmed after meeting him that I, I literally wasn't like ready to meet anyone else. But you get these little photo op tickets and that's pretty much all you need. So if you get a Norman one, a Chandler Riggs one and, and a David Morrissey one. You show the people your receipts before you go into the venue. They'll give you your little cards with the little group that you're supposed to be on it. And then that's all you need. You turn up then at your designated time. You hand the person at the photo op booth, say. You hand them your little card. They check that this is the queue for, say, Melissa McBride Group A. Grand, they keep your ticket. So that's photo ops done. With gold and platinum, you get free photo ops included in your package. So with gold, you get two free photo ops and two free autographs and with platinum you get four free photo ops and four free autographs. For the panels then, I can't remember if you had to buy tickets to the panels but you didn't have like you didn't have to pay for them. Like I was um I was gold and I only went to one no I went to two panels. One was the David Morrissey panel and one was the Andrew and Norman panel. I didn't buy any ticket to that. I didn't have like a ticket at all. I just turned up and walked in. The first few, I think the first two or three rows are for platinums, then the rows after them are for gold and then after that is the general general admission seating. Now I'm not sure if your general if your general admission do you have to purchase like a ticket to the panel but you don't pay. The only panel that you have to pay for is Andrew Lincoln's and that's because he donates pretty much all of that money to a charity of his choice which is kind of sweet and it's not expensive. I think the Andy and Norman panel was like five pounds or something, so it wasn't crazy. But the thing about the panels is if you're general admission, or no matter what level you are, if you want to get like good seats, you do kind of have to turn up a bit early, stay near the kind of entry area to the panel seating, say, just to make sure that you get in early and that you're happy with where you're sitting. Photo ops are generally really quick. Like it's not a meet and greet. Like you don't go in to talk to the person. Literally you go in, Whoever you're meeting will be like, hey, how are you? They put their arm around you, you look at the camera, you smile, and boom, you're out. The camera person will be screaming like, next person, next person. So just understand that before you buy a photo op, because a lot of people were disappointed with Walker Stalker London's photo ops. A lot of people were saying it was rushed, they didn't get to meet the person properly. If you want to meet them, you have to queue up at the autograph table in order to have a talk with them and properly communicate. That being said, I feel like the people that were running the photo ops in London in February were very rude. I mean, like I had a photo op with Norman and Sean, and there was a woman in front of me getting her photo taken, and she was asking to do some pose or something. But as soon as the camera flash went off, the woman with the camera started screaming, next, 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 move. And the woman that was having her photo taken was kind of, she was saying like, thank you to Norman and Sean. She was just looking at them like, she wasn't dawdling or taking like a lot of time. She was just saying, you know, thank you. And you wasn't screaming at her like, move. And then she was yelling at me to go. She was like, go, you, now. And I was like, Dude, your one is still fucking talking to them. I'm not just going to go up and push her out of the way. So just keep in mind that the photo ops are really quick. Another thing as well is the lines and the queues. If you're going to a convention of this size or of this, you know, magnitude, just, you know, be prepared and be aware that there's going to be queues. Some queues are better than others. Greg Nicotero's queue was pretty smooth flowing. Um, Charlie Adlard's queue got a big fucking crazy. Norman's queue is by far the craziest. There were hundreds of people in his queue hundreds of people. And they section off each queue as well as a designated queue for like each group or whatever you are. If you're platinum, I'm not sure if there's a platinum line because there's so few pl platinums. I think that they just go straight in front of the gold. There's a line for gold VIPs, there's a line for regular VIPs and then there's the general admission line. And with Norman anyway it was staggered. So they'd let 
maybe one platinum go and meet him. Then they'd let maybe two gold, maybe three VIP and then five general admission. That's the way they did it. Like they didn't go all the platinums meet him first, then all the gold meet him, then all the VIP and then general admission. They staggered it, which was it was quite fair because it kept all the lines kind of moving and flowing instead of one line moving along and one being at a standstill. Again with the queues, the queues can be very confusing. For example, the queues for, I think it was Greg. Was it Greg? No, it was David Morrissey. Was it? Anyway, the queues for the autographs, like for the autograph table where the celebrities are, there isn't any like ropes or like barriers to define where the queue ends, where the queue starts. There's just like tape on the floor. It was Charlie Adlard's queue actually. When I walked up to Charlie Adlard's line, it was just a fucking huddle of people. There was like 70 or 80 people just bunched together. And I was like, the fuck? And I was like, okay, I'll just slip in. Even though I was gold VIP, I didn't feel comfortable with just being like, fuck all of you, I'm walking up to the front. So I just slipped into the kind of side or what I thought was the back of the queue. And then there was a few girls like, you're not at the back, get to the back. And I was like, where is the back? Like, there's no fucking shape or form to this line. So... <laughs> I hope that they do fix that issue at this year's Walker Stalker because the lines was the lines were pretty confusing. Just a bit of tape on the floor and if the area was any bit crowded you couldn't see the fucking tape. You could just see a group of people so if you're queuing up make sure that you keep in your mind what ticket level you are because if you're gold or platinum obviously you're paying for the, a different line and for a kind of speedier line so just make sure you keep all that in your mind. This was the past then that I got last year. I showed it to you in one of my other videos. It's just the gold kind of laminate thing. Before you join any queue, usually they check your pass. So if you walk up to Michael Cutlet, who plays Abraham, I walked up to his line and I was turned away like six times on the Saturday because his line kept being capped, which means there was too many people in it, so they didn't let anyone else join. I was turned away, I think, five or six times because of that reason. And then I came back on the Sunday and I was turned away twice again and then I came back again finally at I think it was around like four or five o'clock or it might have been I think it was around three or four o'clock and the same woman that I dealt with was like no you're gonna have to come back and I was like there is no coming back the convention is over in like two hours and then another woman that was working there saw that I had the gold thing and she was like have you been turned away and I was like this is like my fucking seventh time being turned away I can't go away again I won't get to meet him like and then she was like but you're gold like you have your own fucking queue. You shouldn't have been turned away at all. So then she kind of said to the other one, what are you doing turning people away when you shouldn't be or whatever. But just beware of your level, your ticket level, and just beware of what's going on, really. Regarding guests, I think there's only like four guests announced for London already. Um, I think Walker Stalker actually tweeted out that they're going to be announcing more guests this week. So I'll probably be putting up a video freaking out for you guys if anyone is announced that, you know, I'm excited for. You all already know which guest that would be. Apart from all the basics, like, you know, bring your own food, bring your own drinks, because things are overpriced. I'm just putting that out there. They're overpriced. Bring your own stuff. Uh, make sure you bring a camera, portable chargers, shit like that, you know, common sense. I'll probably be putting up a video like that, like with tips on how to actually get through the convention smoothly. I'll probably put up a video like that in, like, January or February of next year, if all stays well for me. As of now, it's just kind of the ticketing system because a lot of people were asking me about the ticketing system. And Oh yeah, another thing about the photo ops is when you pay for your photo op, you pay, like Norman's photo op, I can't remember what it was, but I didn't pay for it because I used my free photo op that I got with my gold ticket, so I didn't pay for it. But say it's fucking £70, right? So the photo op is £70. You go in, you get your picture taken with him, you come out, and then they they print off the picture instantly. It's so fucking fast, it's like wizardry. You come out of the booth after meeting Norman or whoever, and there's just a table full of fucking photo ops, and there's yours. I was like, dude, how? It takes me longer than that to send a fucking tweet. So when you come out of the photo ops, your little picture of you and whoever is waiting for you, but you don't get a digital download. You have to pay extra to get that, which I didn't know. I picked up my Norman photo and then I was like, so like, can, how do I download it online or blah blah blah? And they're like, that is extra, you have to pay £10 extra. Hmm. In the digital age, where everything is digital, you, you gotta pay extra, like, okay. But anyway, I did. For every photo op I got, I paid the 9 or £10 extra. 
to give you a little to give you a little card or celeb photo op state and I don't know if they're doing next year's water stalker so it might be a different system so just keep that in mind but this year they give you a little card and it had all the information on it on how to download your photo blah 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 oh I have my Andy one oh I gotta show you guys this so for I got a photo op with Andrew Lincoln and when you go into a photo op they take the card off you so you can't use it again so well, for Andy you had a special card for all the other cast members it was just that card that I showed you guys with the name on the back but for Andrew it had his face on it I took a picture of this because I knew that I wouldn't be able to keep it so I took a photo so I thought that was pretty cool I hope Andy goes again this year he's a lovely fella but there's so much like chaos around Andy because on this year he only went on the Sunday and he only did a limited amount of photo ops and he didn't do a signing and he did like one panel so shit got fucking cray cray but I think that's all that I have to say for now on tips just make sure you follow Walker Stalker make sure you have them on alert they're going to be announcing guests this week so tickets are probably going to start selling like crazy again if you're putting off buying a ticket you're like I'll wait I would suggest buying them now because if they announce Norman or if they announce Jeffrey Dean Morgan you know tickets are going to start selling pretty fucking quick again you know so just be careful of that and a lot of people as well were kind of saying oh I only have general admission um, will I get you know my money's worth out of it you will if you plan your weekend and if you have your goals set like if you go okay I want to meet blah and blah and blah and if you plan it and you make out a little timetable for yourself and you stick to it you should be able to get everything done like my dad had general admission and he met he met Sarah Mae Callies who plays Laurie he came into a few photo ops with me so he met Norman he met Andy he queued up he met another fella I can't remember his name he met Shane as well as like attending a few panels and he he only went because I was going like he wasn't too pushed on it but like he got quite a lot done and he only kind of went to Saturday because on the Sunday he left at like 10 o'clock he was going to a match or some shit don't ask me so he got like I think he got two or three autographs he got a photo op by himself and then he came into a few photo ops at me as well as panels and that was pretty much just the Saturday and he was only general admission so if you plan your weekend and you know what you want to do and you know your goals you will get your money's worth out of it and it will be amazing of course the gold is well worth it as well shorter lines you know free photo ops stuff like that and with the free photo ops with the gold and platinum you can use them on anyone so even if Norman's photo ops are completely sold out it doesn't matter you can still go up and say I'm gold I want to use my free photo op on Norman and you'll still get in now I just use Norman as an example because his photo ops sell out the quickest from experience like from last year he's sell out the quickest and for his photo or for his autograph line it's the fucking craziest and the most packed so if you're planning on meeting Norman with a general admission ticket I would just suggest queuing like fucking crazy get to the venue early make sure you know the layout of the venue before the convention floor opens before you're let in there's the Walker Stalker app and they'll probably have a layout of the actual venue like a map and they'll have where the celebrities are going to be on the map actually I have my map hang on I'm so unprepared for this fucking video where are you at map? come on I have so much stuff on my table right now I've been in crowded and oh cool I can show you guys okay so this is an example of your receipt so this was from last year this was my Stephen Yun photo op it's just a piece of paper it's like a receipt you print it out from your emails this is what you bring with you on the day you hand it to the people who are giving out the cards for the photo ops the people like the ticket handlers you give your receipt to them they look at it they go all right um Stephen Yun group A fine and they give you that little card with the group on it I'm happy now I had that to show you guys there's videos all over the place and I'm sorry this is what I was on about this is called a survival guide they're free they're completely free we took like four or five because we kept fucking losing them the survival guide it tells you the times of the panels the times of the photo ops it is very handy like up here now you can see this says sold out it says it there now Andrew Lincoln and Norman Reedus this is a separate paid event additional ticket purchase required so you needed a ticket for that panel but for down here for the photo ops like I'll just use Melissa there as an example this was the Saturday you guys can see the different time slots 
and you can see the gold and platinum are up here because gold and platinum go first so that's just to show you guys and then on the back you have the map now admittedly the map is kind of fucking confusing the map is very fucking confusing this is just the first floor there, there was two floors um, at this year's convention and it says it it says Norman Reedus Sean Patrick Flannery David Delarocco and Melissa McBride are located upstairs so that was the map it just shows you like the panels are up here the photo op area was down here that's where you queue for the photo ops and it just kind of gave you all the information that you needed so if you got one of these and you walked into the convention you'd know okay so I need to go down the back for the photo ops or I need to fucking leg it upstairs to Melissa McBride's queue so getting one of these is very handy as well it'll keep you kind of like focused because it's when you get in there with all those people and there's Walking Dead merchandise everywhere there's cosplayers everywhere there's guests everywhere it can get so overwhelming that you're just like where am I supposed to be right now? So it's just very handy to have one of these and they probably will do them again for next year's Walker Stalker because I think they do them for all their conventions. So I think that's it. I don't think that was very helpful. I think I babbled a lot but hopefully you guys found it useful. Like I said again, check out Walker Stalker's website for all the information. I'll link it down below for anyone that's interested. Now and as far as I know as well, you can upgrade. Oh, ah, fuck. That awkward moment and you forget that you have a new tattoo and you fucking rub it and it hurts like a bitch. So I think this year Walker Stalker are doing a thing where if you buy general VI or general admission and then VIP tickets go on sale. If you buy the VIP ticket, as far as I know, they will refund you your general admission ticket. So it's a way of upgrading that's pretty useful if you guys are interested in that. If you get a general admission ticket and you're thinking, God, I wanted a VIP or I wanted a gold VIP. If those tickets are made available later on in the year or whenever, or closer to the event, as far as I know, if you upgrade, you will get your money back for the initial ticket that you bought. Jesus, I think you're fucking informative today. I hope you guys found that useful. Leave a comment below if you are going, because like I said, I want to meet loads of people that are going. I want to get in contact with people. And I'll talk to you all soon.